this video, we will explore the use of secondary dominant chords in minor keys. As we've discussed in previous lessons, there is a greater number of chord possibilities in minor keys because of the natural, harmonic, and melodic minor scales. Here are the Roman numerals for the most common triads. Here are those chords notated in the key of C minor. We will notate the dominant chords that lead to each of these diatonic triads. Let's first notate the primary dominant chord. As a triad, this will be G major, but it can also include the addition of a minor seventh, making it a dominant seventh chord. The dominant chord in minor has an accidental on the third, since that note is the leading tone to the key. The leading tone is an important note in a dominant chord that helps pull it back to the tonic chord. Since the primary dominant can be a triad or a seventh chord, I will put the seventh in parentheses. Any major or minor chord in the key can be preceded by a secondary dominant that makes that chord temporarily feel like one or the tonic chord. The term for this is tonicize. A secondary dominant tonicizes a chord other than one. Since the two chord in a minor key is typically diminished, we will not include five of two. We will start with 5 or 5 7 of 3. With 3 being E flat, we find the 5 chord in E flat, which is the interval of a perfect fifth above E flat. This is B flat or B flat 7, and the notes are B flat, D, and F for the triad, with A flat added for the seventh. This is the only secondary dominant chord that we will encounter that does not have an accidental, since it does function to pull over to the 3 chord and temporarily make it feel like 1. We will analyze it as 5 or 5 7 of 3, when it is followed by 3. If the chord that follows is something other than 3, it can be analyzed with its diatonic analysis as flat 7 or flat 7-7. Seven, seven. Next, we will find 5 or 5-7 of 4. We find the 5 chord in F, which is the interval of a perfect fifth above F. Here the triad will be C, C, E, G. Since C is simply the 1 chord in the key of C major, it will not function as a secondary dominant. The addition of the 7th, B flat, will make it a dominant 7th chord that will pull to 4 as a secondary dominant. In this case, the triad does not work as a secondary dominant. It must be 5-7 of 4. Next, we will find 5 or 5-7 five, of 5. We find the 5 chord in G, which is the interval of a perfect fifth above G. This is D or D7, and the notes are D, F sharp, and A for the triad, with C added for the seventh. Next, we will find 5 or 5, 7 of 6. We find the 5 chord in A flat, which is the interval of a perfect fifth above A flat. This is E flat or E flat 7, and the notes are E flat, G, and B flat for the triad, with D flat added for the seventh. Since 7 diminished is a diminished triad, it will not feel like 1 in a major or minor key. Therefore, there is no 5 of 7 diminished. These Roman numerals will transfer to any minor key. A secondary dominant chord is always found a perfect fifth above its chord of resolution. Here are the secondary dominants and their chords of resolution in the key of A minor. Notice that with the exception of 5, 7, and 4, each of these chords could be a triad or a seventh chord. Here are the secondary dominant chords in the key of F sharp minor. 